Hello, I'm Louisa Olive B, co-founder of Kinder Kids. Kinder Kids is a publishing and creative media studio and we're a diverse team of writers, illustrators, musicians and animators and we have one single purpose and that is to inspire the next generation of young people about ancient and modern African history and culture. So today I'm going to be doing a reading uh, of Mansa Musa Builds a School and that is one book out of our collection of Africa's Little Kings and Queens, which is a collection of four beautifully illustrated children's picture books, which are inspired by four of ancient Africa's most wonderful and inspiring leaders. So I'll run through the books really quickly. It's Mansa Musa Builds a School, uh, taken by, take, inspiration taken by the real life Mansa Musa from Mali. Shaka Zulu learns to dance, a whole fantastic story inspired by Shaka Zulu, leader of the Zulu nation in South Africa. Queen Ya saves the golden stool, a fantastic story inspired by Ya Asantiwa of Ghana. And Queen Katami, a really inspiring story here inspired by the Queen Katami of Uganda. Okay, so I'm going to be reading from Mansa Musa today. So this is a rhyming story introducing you to an innovative and generous leader. And when you open these books in the first couple of pages, there's a little bit of information which gives you um, some context about who this person was in real life and the contribution that they've made to the world. So let's get into the story. Meet Mansa Musa, Emperor of Mali, the richest empire in the ancient world. The Mali Empire was a sight to behold and the whole world heard of a great empire filled with gold. Musa was a great leader in all of the stories told. All of the gold belonged to Musa. He was very rich indeed. Musa had everything he could ever want, imagine or need. But he soon grew bored of all of his toys, each and every one, and he was running out of games to play and things to do for fun. He had read all of his books and had counted all of his blocks. He even cleaned up his bedroom and folded all of his socks. The people of Mali soon began to sing a song about an emperor who has everything. That night, when Musa went to bed, he thought about the things that people sang and said. He has too many things, they sang, so to protect him from getting greedy, he should give more to the poor and the needy. So the next morning, Musa planned to see if he could be of help to anyone in need. He hopped on Abdul, his trusty brown mule, Musa straightened his crown and together they rode into town. They traveled through the towns and wandered through the sands. They were on the hunt for people in need all across the land. Musa's stomach rumbled mm, and he saw that it was time for lunch. He decided to stop at a store and find something to munch. Musa asked the seller, Please, can I have a sandwich and three apples to go? The seller took a while, for she seemed quite confused. She was stammering and fumbling around with the food. Musa watched and suddenly he could see that the seller was struggling to count to three. Musa said, My friend, don't you know how to count? You sell so many things. How do you work out the amounts? The seller replied, Oh, Emperor, I'm ashamed to say, many of us here struggle to count every day. Musa soon learned people struggled with reading and writing too. And just like that, Musa knew what to do. I'll build a school, he said, and the people gathered round. It'll be the biggest and the best the world will ever see. 
I'll teach my people to count, read and write just like me. No one should struggle to count to three. And straight away, Musa started to plan. He bought some land and built a building out of bricks, clay and some sand. He built a school that no one could have imagined with classrooms for teachers to teach and students to be examined. The library had books that were piled all the way to the sky and counting blocks reaching 30 meters high. The school soon became the best in the land and Musa was pleased that he could lend a hand. The people loved to learn and to get an education and Mansa Musa became the best leader of the Mali nation. Musa was happy for he could see that joy comes from helping people and generosity. The end. And that was Mansa Musa builds a school. Thank you so much for listening to my reading. I'm Louisa, co-founder of Kunda Kids. You can find us and our books plus activity books and stickers over at www.kundakids.com. We are also on Instagram, which is a great way to keep up to date with all of our news and updates. Uh, at, that's www.instagram.com slash kundakids. And you can find us on Twitter and Facebook too. Thank you so much for listening. Take care. Bye.